Hello folks, um, first off uh, I do have a confession to make. This episode unfortunately is going to take place after the UFO. The reason why is when I was recording this, for whatever reason, the game decided to crash just before I finished recording and unfortunately the video corrupted and like a dumbass, uh, if I just show you, I saved over the um, UFO thing because I was doing it Iron Man-esque as well with uh, the one save file. So unfortunately we did lose um, that mission. Well, we lost the mission uh, in the video. What I'm trying to say is, right, we actually we won the UFO mission, but the video itself was lost. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, for random rookie perks, so the three rookies I brought, um, Hyunjun Kim has got ready for anything. I gave him a smoke grenade. Um, Hannah Fos Forsberg, she has Psy Panic, as you can also see down here. Her will is like 29, so it's not that good. So unfortunately, and um, Raquel here has Packmaster, so she has two flashbangs and an extra charge of motion tracker. Hence why she has the SMG. As for non-rookies on the mission, we have Tom Nelson, who was not wounded in the last mission. Uh, there was wounds in the last mission. Shiv was out for four days, got hit for one hit point uh, into his health. And Sanchez, the concealment um, person, was also hit, unfortunately. She's out for 31 days. Well, from the mission. We have Chibiviri. And this was lost as well. You know, uh, Chibiviri was wanting a Rocketeer, so yeah. Uh, just a second. Sorry, copy. If you could uh, hear the voice there, that's the closest voice I uh, I knew of in the game to Chibi Viri. Just so happens it's in the Australian tab. And she's British, she doesn't like being called Australian. But that's not my fault, that's the game. So yeah. Uh, Anyway, let's get the motion tracker up. Enemies dead ahead that way, I'm not moving that way then. There's pretty much no cover this way. And if we were to move this way, we'd just trigger them, they'd have cover, we wouldn't. We'd pretty much be screwed. Okay, we can at least move people up that way. For the other non-rookies, we also have uh, Steve Watkins, who was also in the last mission, but came out of fatigue just in time. The hero of the mission. Put it this way, if he hadn't done the last move of the, of the uh, map, someone would have died, because we accidentally triggered the outsiders. It's a shame that we lost that video though, but... That's, I suppose that's the problem with playing Iron Man-esque. Should keep a uh, backup save then, just in case. Shield, I'll have to do that from now on. Uh, you move there. Do not care about the mail. That is not a priority. Just so I know if there's any threats. They're still over this way. They're just out of range by the looks of it. Way just when they popped up. Yeah. So they're just by this truck. 
I do not think I'll be able to dash over to there without triggering them. So instead I'm going to place you there. Start placing people at the door. Watkins, you might want to move. Uh, dash you up. Kim, move. You stay on overwatch there, Nelson. Donaldson. Chevy, who um, is the uh, Shredder Ammo um, Rocketeer. Or, uh, no, the Mind Free uh, Rocketeer, who I gave a Shredder Rocket, so she's got Shredder Ammo. Uh, move you there. We are currently in month two, so Floaters, Thin Men, Seekers. They are now going to be regular appearances, unfortunately for us, which is why another reason why I did not want to move up on that side, aside from no cover. Might as well kick this sucker off. Didn't see them. All right. I'm not complaining. Um, you move in there then, so I can get more people at the door. I'm not gonna move you up um, that way, just in case. Nelson, you stay there for the time being. You steady, just in case. We have sectoids, thank goodness for that. In the last mission, um, I did point this out as well. Oh, two pods. In the last mission, I did point out that the um, aliens were doing research and they have only just researched this. The one extra hit point. Um, month two, they should also have higher will. Unfortunately, we can't check as we haven't autopsied them. And also, we can't even check that there either. Hmm. Yeah, just shoot. Right. Pin him in place. I do not want you to go there. Right, let's activate a motion tracker and move here. See if there's anyone on the right side. There is not. That's good. You have an 80% on him. Take it. As good a shot as you'll get. Hmm. I could have you run and gun up to the top. But the thing is then, there would be so many sectoids able to, um, they would be able to shoot at you. If anything, dash up to there. Time to motor. Yeah, let's, let's do that. You're at least in full cover uh, if someone can see you. Hmm. Chivy. Steady your weapon again. 
you need to get closer. Move there just now. You can actually see him. I wasn't sure if you would be able to. Pistol's your best shot. Nice work. Forsberg. Not really any full cover you can take use of. So just sit there and overwatch. Yeah, actually you stay there, watch our flank. Just in case. There was some scarping over to the left. One of which mine merged. You're now in full cover. You're on overwatch. Alright. Suppress him. You have 41% to hit him. I actually take a shot because you'll just automatically enter Overwatch. Thank you for that. Now I could... In fact, I could actually move Chippy up because he can't see her. The door is blocking his line of sight. Do it. You can't see anyone. That's good. Steady your weapon. I'm not one to move up here because that sectoid there would be able to see and I do not want that. You're probably not going to be able to take him out. What can you do? You could possibly move there without him actually seeing you. To take an overwatch shot. Out. Try it. Alright, there was another overwatch. Low cover. You're in low cover yourself. I just hope they didn't see you for more than one tile if you run. Okay. Good. So now we have a sense of what's going on. Uh, reload. See what you can do, I suppose. Overwatch. So, we saw that there was one dude here, obviously, but if we were to move up, we'd have no cover, and actually, would anyone else be able to shoot? He could possibly move to there and shoot? Yeah, just overwatch. That's probably the wisest idea. Oh, you back there. Thank goodness. They are supposed to have a will bonus, so... Watch yourself, you could have hit the other guy that's on Overwatch. We'll see what you can do. Nice work! So looks like we're staying on Overwatch with you. You could in theory kill him if you hit. Give a shot. Alright. 
You're just sticking on Overwatch. Heading to that location. Positive enemy contact. Hmm? Oh, some more sectoids actually moved in. And I thought I heard a drone. He's probably at the back, if anything. Again, you're in low cover, so I don't want you staying there. Moving to position. Question, Chevy, can you get a rocket through there? There's a good chance that you'd screw up. And either hit the wall, the car, or truck. Hmm. Kinda don't wanna risk that. Though that would destroy a lot of their cover. And it seems we've activated all the pods. I'll hold off on that just now. And what I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to move this rookie out. And I'm going to move you into full cover. Maybe you can get a better shot with your rocket from there as well. There was a sectoid around this area, so... I kind of don't want to move up there. I can move here now. Safely. You... No one should be able to see you from down there. If you move there anyway, so... Move there, reload. It's best you can do right now. You also be in a nice position for a flashbang. Okay. And you take her old position. Hello there. Uh oh. Ah, well. At least you're not wounded, Chevy. That was your armour that soaked up, even though it was your mind that was hit. I never got that. And of course, the mind merged dude's um, side panic failed. There's the drone. Long range pistol hit on overwatch on a drone and still does one damage. I'm impressed, Dumas. The one time we needed you not to panic. Hmm. What can we do here? Show us our, our situation. No overwatches it looks like, he's obviously not. No overwatches, good. We have the drone, and that dude. What's the panic on the sectoid? 28%. The drone could become an issue. With not needing to take cover, so. I think of what I could possibly do with this assault. If 
you were to move there, it'd be highly unlikely you'd be flanked unless he moved. So I am. In fact, let's see what we can do with your running gun. That might open up some more options for our assault. Yeah, move there. Try and hit that dude over by the um, crates. 76. Perfect. You could actually hit the drone. So I'm I have to try and hit this dude. I was afraid that wasn't gonna hit, but <laughs> you reload. Alright. You move there. We have eyes on that dude, so at least we know he won't move up. For the time being. I have to. If I'm gonna push them back a bit, I need to. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're right there. That's a bad thing. Um, you should be able to throw a flashbang on him from there, right? No, nope, because something's blocking you. Oh, great. Move back. That plan went bust. He's on Overwatch. She's in the med bay. Oh, don't you dare. You're retreating. You hit, which is the main thing. Okay, you double moved. That's probably the best scenario for that drone. Could in theory hit him. Let's see what everyone else can do first. Chivy, you can. Oh yeah, you're not um, panicked anymore. You got the good roll of the dice, but you're still mind frayed, which means your mind fray is not going to do too much. Let's see what you can do. No wonder it failed, you were aiming... Like, he was there, you were aiming over in this direction. Um... Please take out that drone. Nelson, can you please take out that drone? Kill 
You know what you're doing at least. an overwatch there, an overwatch there. We could at least try and suppress him or maybe just outright kill him. You've been fairly accurate. Let's give you another shot. Now, what we can do, hopefully, we might, we're gonna have to put another person in the line of fire. But maybe we can flashbang him? Yeah. We can flashbang him. Actually, can we get. Can we attempt to get them both in it? Oh, yeah, beauty. That is perfect. Thank you. Overwatch. Not as big a threat. The assault can get out, thankfully. Only one sectoid is actually a threat. Take a shot since you'll automatically go into Overwatch after that. What is it with you and hitting behind that thing? Right, assault. You're gonna need to get out. You're gonna be in the med bay, I know, but. Hey, at least you're not dead. Don't want you being killed now, so just use your med kit. With these two disoriented, I can uh, move the assault in a lot easier. You dash. Even if the Overwatch saw you, there's not as much of a chance that it'll hit. I don't want to give you all the kills, but so far you've been putting in the work. My ammo is running low. Adjusting aim. Hmm. Do I dare put you back out front? He is still flashbind, so... Is he still there? No, he's moved. Where to? He moved right there? You're kidding me! And how can't you see him? Chibi, you're no longer under the effects of Mind Free! That's some big scare. Steady a rocket for next turn. He shouldn't be able to see you from there. So, since I think the mission is almost over, let's make sure no one else gets wounded. There he is. Take the little bastard out. No longer a threat. Let's try and just finish this now. He's flashbind, so hopefully you're fine. One percent. Take him out. 
That was it. Thank goodness. One wound. Sometimes risks have to be taken. Just unfortunately, that risk wasn't worth it. Because we do have some troopers that can't shoot straight. Watkins, what are you getting? Definitely not that, definitely not that. It's this. If you can't hit, well, you can help people actually try to hit. Uh, you, you're getting your perk soon. Nelson, I'm going to give you Battle Scanner, so you're more supporty. However, when you reach your next promotion, I won't immediately be notified. In which case, I will give you Hollow Targeting. Donaldson. You're an assault, so you will be away from the group. So I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking Lone Wolf. Chivy! You do have Field Medic and Revive, but you also have Fire in the Hole, which is good for Rocketeers. I'll give you secondary hearts so that you won't die if you go down to zero health. And your will, since you are partially psionic, and I usually make my Rocketeers quite psionic as well, you won't lose any will if I take this. You will have six hours more fatigue, but eh, more time to get some recording done, huh? Without the without your dad um, going at you. Because you'll be in the barracks instead. Dumas. Flush, I suppose, could be useful. When you're not in range, you can always flush them out. And the rest are rookies. We will be in touch, Commander. Uh, but yeah, just to um, prove that it is actually um, Australian. Chibi Viri. Customised. English Australian, so I wasn't lying. It's the game, not me. Anyway, Kim. Red Frantin is your perk. Not sure. Your movement's average, your health is average. In fact, you're pretty much average across the board, apart from your defense. Your will is actually pretty nice though. I'll make you a grenadier. Oh great, your first uh, promotion I'm going to have to give you something. Maybe low profile? Because you're going to be getting close, so you'll need to take every bit of cover you can get. Uh, danger zone? Uh, that does not affect grenades. Grenade launchers, yes, but not grenades. Well, that's what it says here. I'll double check this in just a second. From what I can see, it is not normal grenades, unfortunately. So, here, maybe jet bit module. So actually, now that I look at it, Danger Zone and Suppression does work. So, I could bring that, but mind you, I'll be passing up the Sapper. Uh, maybe uh, Jumpy Legs Sapper. 
running gun could be useful, but then again, your will is pretty damn high, so mind fray is damn good for you. Probably resilience. So I can have you run into the open if the need really arises, and you won't be crit. If I was taking danger zone, I suppose fire rocket could be alright, but then again. Actually. I could take that. Yeah, I could take them. Yeah, actually, yeah. Danger zone. Fire rocket, I'm feeling that. Uh, Hannah. There's a side panic. But your will isn't that good. Hmm, your aim is really nice. And you know what? Since we only have one sniper, I'm making a sniper. Oh, great. Tax sense, if you're not with the group, that's useless. So I suppose I'd have to give you a marksman rifle for that to be useful. Same with regen biofield, in fact, same for everything here. You need to be in close to actually make use of them. Even then, revive. I would pretty much want you to have field medic for that. So it'd have to be either regen biofield or tax sense. Damn good ground, smoke grenade, and javelin rockets. Damn good ground would be alright for you since you're a sniper. I'm probably one of the only people that says damn good ground is actually alright. Probably. Combined with attack sense, you'd have 30 defense if you see 4 enemies. That'd be pretty nice. So that combined with low cover, that's 60 defense. I'm pretty sure. Not half bad. Resilience, immunity to crits, or adrenaline or sympathy, I'm thinking here. Maybe adrenaline or sympathy? You're a sniper, so hopefully I'll have you getting the killing blow. Low profile here. That means 70 defense. Okay. Uh, fire rocket. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I don't think so. Killer instinct's useless, so maybe distortion field with the marksman rifle would actually be alright. Field surgeon. Since you're going to be close to the group. Lone wolf. Not as useful. Grenadier. I'd prefer to have you with a scope and maybe something else to boost your damage. So, Field Surgeon. Like, if you had Field Surgeon on the last mission, the assault wouldn't be out for 16 days. Vidal, with Packmaster. How could I not make you a Grenadier or a Medic here? Medic would mean you'd have four med kits, which is already higher than most people. Grenadier, I could bring three HE grenades or AP grenades right now. I'd have to go with a med kit. Oh, and you're getting Grenadier anyway, so... Okay. Ten of more heads, that would have been alright if I'd got Grenadier there. Suppression. I don't know what I'd pick here, maybe Grenadier or Suppression. Uh, platform stability, ready for anything, or damn good ground. Hmm. I don't know what I'd pick here either. Fire in the hole is useless. Like active target and sensors. That's only if you're hit, but my medics I try not to get hit as much as possible. 
so that's counterintuitive. If anything, I'd have you a high up um, marksman medic. I mean, 15% crit, no, 5% uh, crit, 10, uh, plus 10 defense, uh, plus 15 aim. In addition to the usual bonuses. Sapper, definitely. I mean, I'm. That means I'm gonna give you Grenadier then, definitely. One additional damage, more di uh, more damage to the environment, sure. More reliable uh, cover destruction with more damage. Telekinetic field, that is a no-brainer. Regener uh, regenerating dense smoke, without all the perks you need to get, essentially. Bioelectric skin, probably. Immune to strangulation and um, no seekers will be able to get close to you without revealing. So, yeah. Alright. That's us finally down to the um, bottom. The hangar, I did outfit a couple of um, interceptors with Stingray and I did buy a 6th interceptor. Especially as this one's out for 25 days, we're going to need all the interceptors we can get. This one's out for 3 more days, that's fine. Also I'm building scopes and alloy plating finally. I'd quite like the scientists. People are probably gonna say you shouldn't have done that, but oh, the US. Illyrium for money, sure. All right, that's the scout's gonna be taken down a bit easier. Six days compared to what now? Eleven. Let's go for beam lasers. Are we getting the scopes? I need two fifty, yeah. No, two hundred. Oh wait, no, that's for that. Three fifty. Let's see what we can sell. Plenty of corpses, so we're gonna keep them. Oh wow! With just three hundred sitting there. Go on. Have fun with those uh, destroyed um, computers and everything. That's it, let's give it the base out. Make sure we're ready. Also, what are these requests? Satellites? No. Oh god, it's another radar. Will we be as lucky as last time? I doubt it. Uh, Raven 1. Go on the aggressive. We're in pursuit. Abort. It's almost down though. Contact detected. Um, uh, Raven Six. It's right there. Enemy is padlocked. Okay, you're also. You're also needing repair. That's just great. 
This mission, I, I'm probably not going to bring any rookies on because last time, one rookie and yeah, still went kind of badly. Unfortunately, Watkins is out, so is Sanchez. Chevy's still out for two days. In fact, no, Watkins is out for four hours. We've got like 36 hours. Yeah. Oh no, don't continue scanning. Yep, Watkins is back. I'm sorry about the LMG um, run and gunner. He's just too good. Uh, Jamie, you're back. What one of you is better for the situation? You've got battle scanner, suppression, which is nice. And let's see you. I don't know under sympathy, suppression, and aggression. So the more offensive compared to the more um support. That extra little bit of mobility from adrenaline or sympathy might be good. But the battle scanners, two free battle scanners without being attached to any item. I have to go with um, Nelson unfortunately. Sorry Jamie. In fact, am I back? I am. Get ready for, hopefully, an outsider one shot. Uh, I need health, definitely. My health is low. Mobility is good. Um, aim's good, but yeah. Though I'm probably going to want to hit as many of my shots as possible, so the more aim, the better, I suppose. Anyway, let's get the rest of the squad first. Heh, <laughs> funny enough, you came on the last uh, medium UFO. Because you were our only damn uh, sniper. Uh, let's bring you, I suppose. Gonna need an assault. In fact, no. Not you. There was a 7 health assault. Yeah. So right now we pretty much have one of every class. Assault, Infantry, Gunner, Medic, Scout, Sniper. Need an Engineer. Your health is nice. In fact... Yeah, your health is better. And you've still got the same movement. Worse will, but... Last one we need is a Rocketeer. Setterer is the only one that's available. Full squad. You've at least got fire in the hole, so that's nice. Ready for anything. Okay. You're pretty much set. Um... Let's give you... Oh yeah, we have scopes now, I completely forgot. Make that rocket extremely accurate. Where am I again? There we go. Get that damn laser sight off. And now that I remember. Oh yeah, this is really annoying. In order to equip an alloy plating, if you already have ceramic on, 
you have to equip something else, then equip that. Or just remove and, you know, 8 health. Hopefully I won't be one shot. In fact... Sorry, NG. Uh, let's bring Thunder 3. You've not been in on any missions. Anderson. Um, enjoy your scope. Yeah, that seems to be everything for you. Nelson. Shotgun medic? Um, no. How about no? Watkins. You're gonna be the proud owner of the fourth and final scope. And you're gonna need some health. I am not having you die. Uh, infantry. Uh, you have um, ready for anything. So I'm actually gonna give you the drum mags. I'm going to give you that and that to get rid of the mobility penalty and hope that you do not die. Unfortunately your aim is now shit, but... Oh, you have field medic as well! I completely forgot about that, Zykov. You were one of those special cases, weren't you? Yep, you were actually the first special case we come up uh, across. Unfortunately, that means you're going to be hanging back a bit more. Have a med kit. That also means you're going to be kind of supportive. So actually what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to make a second save file and I will save this save file before we go on the mission just in case it fucks up. Because Long War, thankfully, if you notice Area of Operations, I've noticed it's normally the same map even if you go into it multiple times. So. We can save here, and that should um, that should avoid any crashes, uh, screwing up the recording. We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. In fact, we're just going to speed up the load. It looks like we got, and we're going to try this out live. Okay, so we saw the um, image. Got to load up the file again. Just to test this live. Mission, everyone set up. And actually, no, I actually fucked up. So I suppose it's actually kind of a good thing I did that as well. High cap mags, actually, no, take that off. You've got lock and load. So yeah, now we'll launch it. It should be the same map. Should be the same map. Same map. To South Africa for this one. And we need to get down there fast. There we go. It looks like we got lucky. The alien crash site is in a remote area, away from any major city centers. We should get down there and secure the site ASAP. So yeah, we'll uh, kick this mission off next time. Hopefully, this recording doesn't crash. But I do still have the um, save file from 
the start of the observatory mission. So even if it does, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll have two Geoscape uh, save files, one from before a mission, you know, basically I'll have a Geoscape mission for the mission before uh, where I left, where I leave off the recording. So if it was this mission, I'd have a Geoscape mission, uh, I'd have a Geoscape save for that, and then I'd have the Geoscape uh, save for before this mission, and then I'd have the actual save file for this one. So starting from next time, that's how the saves will go. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Oh god, this looks like a bad start. Sure, there's high cover, but they are all far away. We pretty much have no cover to move up. How in the hell are we gonna do this? This has been Squashboy Woman 2, signing out.